this December. Two songs. One journey And does he return? Introducing The Christmas Specials Would you believe it? I've literally just recorded this video and I've had my mic turned off the whole time Honestly, sometimes I don't know how I even do YouTube, but anyway, um, and I've done that twice in the last week, so I've had to re-record re two videos in the last week, but anyway, let's get on with the video. So what is in today's video? Well, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 different items of Lego that I sold on Amazon recently. Now, if you've been following the channel for quite a while, you will know that obviously from about October 2017 to maybe January, February of this year, 2018. Um, I made sort of some large investments, or I put quite a lot of money into sort of Lego, you know, Lego investing, that sort of stuff, or if you prefer, obviously, long tail Lego RA. Um, and essentially, I made some speculative investments with it. I made some, uh, you know, educational uh, guesses with it and stuff like that. And I bought quite a large amount of sets. And now, obviously, I've sent a large portion of those sets, probably more than I actually thought I would do, probably about 80% of my entire portfolio of sets, I sent up to Amazon, um, and now obviously they are selling through. Now, I've probably only sold about 20, 25, maybe at a push 30% of the Lego so far. We're now currently on about the 25th of November, um, and some of it was time sensitive, you know, some of the advent calendars and stuff were uh, time sensitive. Obviously, you want them sold before the 1st of December, um, because obviously they are advent calendars. Um, so, you know, some of it sold through in that respect, but also a lot of it is still to sell, so you may get some more of these sales updates over the next few weeks when more of the stuff that I've sort of perched at a higher price ends up selling. But yeah, so some of it I've done pretty well with. Some items, you know, haven't been the best, but I'm just going to share with you uh, 10 of the items so far. Now, there are some multi quantity uh, items, you know, some items that I've sold a multiple quantity of. So on the screenshot, I've just put sort of put times five or times 10 or times two, uh, just to share with you sort of the amount that I've sold of that, that particular set. Now, they are on my uh, phone, the screenshots, but obviously I'm going to put them up that way even. Um, so if I look down at my phone occasionally, I do apologize, um, but obviously I need to look down to check prices and stuff and share with you uh, the items. So essentially, number one, I sold five of these. This is 75165, I believe it's the Imperial Trooper Battle Pack. Um, now these I actually was pretty confident on. I did a video on these. It's actually, um, how I think it was like how to be a successful Lego investor or something. No, it wasn't that. It was... Um, five Lego investing success tips or some, something like that. I think I've, what I'll do is put a card somewhere and that'll probably explain it better than I've just done. But um, yeah, so I did a video on these and I explained my process of how I actually go about uh, picking Lego investments. And I, I do believe that process still holds up even now, uh, even though that video was probably done maybe a year ago, ago or something like that. Um, but yeah, these were pretty much a screaming buy for me. I really did feel confident on these. I actually paid retail, which was £12 for my Sainsbury's, eleven ninety nine. 99 These were on, uh, on the shelves at my Sainsbury's. And um, yeah, I bought quite a few of these. I bought like 12 or 14. Um, and I've sent most of them up. I think I've held a couple back maybe just for next year or so. I have held a few of my Lego investments back actually for next year. Um, but yeah, as I say, I've sent quite a lot of these up. I've currently sold five of them at £30. So, you know, obviously these aren't the margins that uh, you get with, you know, car boots and stuff when you go in, you're paying 50p for an item and you're flipping it into £10, £15. These are retail arbitrage margins. They're not as good, but still, they're, they're still a pretty good, decent margin. They're still... Uh, you know, a decent level of profit on that. And in terms of an, an, an investment, you know, like a traditional investment like stocks or, uh, you know, like putting your money in a bank or peer-to-peer -peer lending or whatever other investments you can think of, it is a very, very good return on investment or return on the in capital you've employed in the time period that we're talking. So, yeah, that was those. So I'm pretty happy with that. As I say, more of them to sell. So I'm quite happy with that one. Now, next was one that really did well for me. 
So this is LEGO 21027, the architecture skyline, which was Berlin skyline even. And as you can see, I sold two of these at $54.99 each. Now, I wish hindsight is obviously a beautiful thing. I w well, it can be quite annoying actually because you're just thinking, why didn't I buy more? But um, I basically got these in the LEGO 50% off sale. They were retailing at $34.99 last sort of... Well, last year sometime, obviously, they, um, I think we got retired maybe January or something of this year. And we retailed at thirty four ninety nine, and obviously I got them for half off, so it was £17.49 I got these for. So very, very happy with that margin, £17.50 into £55. Quid. Obviously, as I say, again, I've had to wait a little bit of time, but it's things like this that's perfect, you know. They're not necessarily really big sets or anything to store. You could store quite a lot of them in, uh, you know, a fairly small area, you know, one box or so so if I did have the hindsight to get more of these this would have been the perfect set to really load up on um, but still I'm more than happy with that profit margin and uh, yeah two of them gone so I was pretty happy with that now next these I got per unit at £11 each I got the majority of these at £10 but I also got a couple at £15 so the pound cost average of price or dollar cost average of price it's going to be around £11 I paid £110 for 10 of these so I'm pretty happy with that margin but you know what I am a bit annoyed at the same time because last year I was tracking the market on these. When I was starting to get into Lego investing and thinking that I would do this in the future, I wanted to make sure that I was doing sort of some right decisions. I was making some right moves. And I did actually track the market on the 2016 Lego advent calendars for the 2017 market and I realized that we were going for sort of 35 to 40 pound I think 40 pound might have been maximum but certainly 35 pound the 2016 ones were obviously selling for that in 2017 at sort of November 2017 now this year the 2017 ones in obviously November of 2018 this month uh, they haven't quite hit that price that the 2016 ones did so I am a little bit annoyed, you know, I am a little bit annoyed on that. They didn't go to the £35, they didn't go above the £35. Now, at the time I'm recording this, it's currently the 25th of November. Now, I've sold out of them because I'm not playing the risky game of, you know, pricing at £34.99 and waiting till the 29th of November or the 28th of November, just a few days before anyone's going to really want them this time of year, uh, because obviously after December 1st, not as many people are going to want them i'm sure the sales rank will still be decent but I, I think the price would drop slightly as well so uh it's kind of a time sensitive one so i didn't want to run that game of being quite that risky and as i'm recording this the price has gone up to 31 pound so you know maybe if you do play that more risky game you could get that 35 quid but i'm still going to track these and see whether it actually gets to that because they just haven't done as well this year as they did last year and um, it does make me think maybe for future years this is going to die down even more and it might be worth either getting a better buy-in price on these or just not doing the whole Lego Advent kind of thing, you know, anyway. Unless, as I say, you are getting a really, really good buying price on these. So, yeah, I am a bit disappointed in those, but there's still some good money in them. I would say probably about a 90 to 100% net profit margin on them. So I was more than happy just to take that margin, take that profit, and just leave them at the door kind of thing. And as I say, I might not be doing them this year, you know, unless... I can find them somewhere on an insane discount. I'm talking five to seven pound each, something like that, because it just doesn't seem worth it um, at that, you know, sort of 10, 12 pound range, something like that. So, um, as I say, pretty happy with those, but could have gone up a little bit more. Um, next was something really good, actually. I got about three or four of these at 13 pound. And these have done pretty well for me. As you can see, none, there's no multi-quantity on this one. Um, but obviously, I got 37 99 for this one. This is Lego 41065, Disney Princess Rapunzel's best day ever. So I was more than happy with that from 13 quid. Obviously, it's like pretty much just shy of three times my money. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that one. Went pretty well. There's also going to be another screenshot of the same item, but I've done it on a separate screenshot because it actually got slightly less money for the same item. So I thought I'd actually do that on a separate screenshot. But yeah, I was quite happy with those. Now, I have to admit, that was a speculative one. I didn't actually like know what I was doing with that one. I just saw it at like 35% off or something insane. And thought, oh yeah, I'll grab like four or five of them. I'm sure it'll do well. 
and I was just lucky. I was just lucky on that. It did well. Um, there was no sort of thought process going into that one. It, as I say, it was just basically uh, pot luck on that one that I'd just picked them up, to be honest. Um, next was Speed Champions now. A lot of you will know how um, sort of crazy I was for Speed Champions a year ago. I got a lot of Speed Champions, and the majority of them have done really, really well. The market has performed really, really well for them, and they're probably going to be my best return on investment out of all the LEGO sets I got, and I will be sharing with you a few different LEGO Speed Champion sales in this sales update. So as you can see, this is the first one. It's Bugatti Chevron, I think is how you pronounce it, and it's uh, 75878, uh, and I got $34.99. I've actually sold three of these i've got another six five or six up at the warehouse still to sell so that's pretty cool um and these have gone quite recently actually as you can see three of them gone there so i'm quite happy um yeah from and i actually paid retail on these i paid 13 quid so again i was taking a risk at re paying retail for these but i just i i, I kind of with a few of the different parameters that I set and a few of the different ways I go about Lego investing, um, I kind of knew that these would do pretty well. And yeah, within a year, obviously, they've almost tripled in value from retail price. So I'm more than happy with that. Three times my money back on that one in turnover. So yeah. Pretty happy with that. Next was Lego uh, Brickheads 41585. Now, we all know about my Brickheads uh, phase where I thought, oh yeah, these Brickheads are going to do really well. Uh, last year, obviously, you will be able to see that in the haul videos. If you haven't already, you can go back and uh, go on my Lego investing playlist on my channel and you can see the haul videos. And, you know, I'm buying the uh, Brickheads. I'm getting a few of them sort of like 20%, 30% off. I'm buying a few of them at retail price, which was a tenner. Um, and a lot of them didn't perform as well as I thought. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm still going to get a bit of money out of them. But not as much as I hoped, you know. I think really the the mo the least one of them is going for is like fourteen, fifteen, ninety nine. But the most one of them is going for is about this range of about twenty three quid. So you know, from seven to ten pound investment, that is not a good return on investment for what I particularly want. Um, now that being said, I am going to keep a fair few. I have kept a few, fair few uh, back here. I've not sent them to the warehouse. I'm going to wait on them a little bit and see if maybe we can creep up a little bit more. Um, but I have sent a few in, clear my money on them, get a little bit of profit where I can on them and then use that money to reinvest in things that I'm more confident on. I am going to be doing the whole Lego investing, I'm going to continue it um, and I am going to be doing it you know, next year and stuff but I am going to be very, very cautious because I know that Amazon um, is putting in place quite a lot of restrictions these days and I, I do want to protect, protect my investments so when I am looking for new Lego investments, I'm going to be actually drawing on eBay prices um, or what I feel I could get back in a year's time on eBay rather than last year like I did on Amazon prices because if Amazon restrict me, then at least I've obviously done my research based on eBay prices or projected eBay prices and I can end up selling them at a decent profit that way. So you've always got to be thinking, you know, 12 months in advance and thinking how you can kind of uh, game the system it's kind of like a game of chess essentially with amazon and ebay and stuff and these different and the market you're like playing with the market essentially um but i love that it's where i get my kicks it's where i get my thrills trying to play a game of chess with the with the market it's pretty awesome um but yeah so as i say not the best return on investment on that one now obviously i don't know whether i paid 10 pounds for this one or whether it was one of the discounted ones for seven six you know seven or eight quid but as I say, £10 uh, maximum cost to me, so not the best margin on that one. But I wanted to share it with you to share the fact that, you know, not all of these items are going to be brilliant. Um, so next was actually an item, coincidentally, was an item that was actually pretty brilliant. This is my best investment, actually. Um, this is LEGO Speed Champion 75871 Ford Mustang GT. Now, I was very, very, um, I was very confident on this in the haul videos. I was like... You know, I, I wasn't necessarily like saying to people, you've got to buy this, but um, I was kind of hinting at the fact, you know, it might be a good idea for you to buy Speed Champions or it might be a good idea to maybe pick some of these up, even though I'm not a financial advisor and I think I did state that in the video. Um, but I did buy quite a lot of these. I bought 15 of these and I'm feeling pretty smug right now because I'm like, yes, I actually called this one right, um, like a year in advance. And again, you can go back to the whole video and actually see me 
uh, say uh, talking about this one and being quite optimistic on this so as you can see I sold one of these for 49.95 now I've already cleared two of these about a month ago at 39.95 but I decided to wait to uh, you know for the others to go up in value because I thought I might be able to get 50 at Christmas for these so I've sent like another 10 in I've kept another three or so two or three back here just for next year or so you know I might clear them I might be able to get more I might be able to just get less anyway but I thought I'd just keep a few few behind it's always good for um, you know some investments just to keep a few oh focus has gone a bit uh, just keep a few back just in case the market does something that you're not expecting you know either it goes up in value quite a lot or something like that um, but I can't really see the there being much more value in these I mean I think 50 quid's got to be the ceiling on these um, but yeah I've actually got another nine of these up at the warehouse to sell um, so I'm really really happy with that and I've actually got the buy box now so uh, I'm, I'm expecting the next few days or the next week two weeks or so to be pretty good with these we've not got the most amazing wank but we've got a wank that should still sell pretty steadily for me so I'm pretty happy with that again I paid retail price because I was very confident on these 13 pound into 50 quid if I can do that with all of them then that's a good amount of profit there a good amount of money um, and yeah I'm really really happy with that one next we've got Lego Speed Champions one of the Speed Champions that didn't do as well um, which is the luckily I actually only bought one of these so it's not that bad um, and I actually got this for a 30 20 or 30 percent discount instead of 13 quid I actually got this for a tenner um, and I ended up just clearing this I just sent it up I just literally sent it up I thought I'll just get my money out of it get a little bit of profit on it I only bought one of them so I thought I just end up sending it up and as you can see I got 22 99 there now actually you know I could have waited a little bit on that one to be honest it probably is a bit of a fool's move I could have just waited till December and priced it at maybe 30 quid and it probably would have gone uh, depending on the sales rank it probably would have gone so uh, yeah maybe I could have waited a little bit on that one but I just decided to, uh, to sort of chuck that in uh, obviously whack it into a shipment and get it gone uh, next is this Lego 40222 countdown calendars now again this is a time sensitive one because I don't really think after the 1st of December as many people are going to want one of these. I'm not saying the sales rank is going to drop off completely. I'm sure there's going to be some demand for it even right through December kind of thing or, you know, up until sort of Christmas. But it's not going to be as in demand as before, obviously, December 1st because people want to, um, obviously, uh, oh no, it says, no, it says actually, this set is not an advent calendar. So maybe, actually, maybe not. It's maybe not that time sensitive. I actually thought it was, but obviously it says 24 mini builds. So maybe some people might think they could try, like, kind of try and use it as an advent calendar. So it could be, could be the fact that it's a little bit time sensitive, this one. But anyway, what I did was I actually reduced the price on these because I wanted to get these gone because I actually got these um, basically like a year ago or something, or maybe even two years ago now. I don't even know. It's a long time ago. But I got um, these with like if you spend over 50 quid in the Lego shop or might have been £75 in the Lego shop, you get one of these as a free gift or something. So I, I was thinking, well, if this is a bit time sensitive, I might, um, what I might do is reduce the price and just get them gone, get some money in the bank. And obviously it doesn't really matter to me because it's not really attributed, there's no value attributed or there's no cost price. Uh, for me attributed to these so obviously I got 2270 on that um, I'm assuming that maybe because this isn't an advent calendar I could have got a little bit more close to Christmas actually but we'll see I'm not sure I do think certain people do attribute this as um, kind of like an advent calendar or they think it might be an advent calendar so um, yeah I don't know on that one but what I'm going to do is track the market on that because it will be quite interesting to see um, and then is this the final one yeah this is the final one so as I mentioned before I basically got a uh, you know I got those like Rapunzel's best day ever for 13 quid well essentially this one went for 34.99 so a little bit less um, I must have sent this in earlier or something um, and yeah got 34.99 for that pretty happy with that one again from 13 quid investment I'm pretty happy with the uh, return on investment there and as I say I just wanted to split those two screenshots off because obviously one was 37.99 and then one was 34.99 so I wanted to make sure that obviously uh, split those off as two rather than just putting two times on the screenshot um, Obviously, there's a lot more of my Lego to sell I've got loads and loads of Lego to sell up there So I'm going to be doing more of these sales updates as I mentioned over the next few weeks So I'm sure there'll be more of these to come if you like this sort of format then brilliant Obviously, you can drop a like down below if you did like the video. You can drop a comment down below with any questions, queries, or anything like that. 
and uh, oh, what else is my other thing? Oh, and also don't forget if you if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'll put a linky thing up there or something up there, a graphic or something. Anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you in the next one. So I'll see you very soon, guys.